everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm sitting behind the wheel of our 1965 Chevrolet Biscayne that's packing a 409, 400 horsepower engine that's backed by a four-speed transmission. Uh, this is a very, very rare car. The point of this video today is to actually do a mechanical presentation along with a driving video and let you experience uh, this awesome vehicle. If you have not watched our main video, please do. Tells the entire story. Again, how rare it is, et cetera, et cetera. So let's start off uh, just by showing you a couple features here. Uh, first thing I will mention is the sun visors are very firm. You can see they're really nice and tight. Same thing goes for the rear view mirror, which isn't always the case with these classic cars. Uh, this vent glass here opens up really nicely you can see how beautifully it operates it seals nice and tight and also the window rolls up really easily seals at the top again nice and tight and this door opens and closes beautifully can't comment enough about that this is a cold start so right now i'm going to go ahead and do a cold start pump the gas pedal a few times uh, and sit here and idle the great thing about these vehicles is on this gauge here it has what says hot and cold it has a light that indicates when the vehicle is cold once it warms up uh, it goes off and then you can drive the vehicle uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now you can see how fast it fires up cold and you can see that that cold light is actually on right now which again is really nice this car is extremely user friendly again this is a cold start you can see with my foot off the gas pedal, how beautiful it's running. We have this extremely rare tachometer. This is referred to as an in-dash tachometer. This is the original tachometer to this vehicle that was restored by one of the best people in the business. The guy had told us they're extremely rare and extremely valuable. He said you could probably sell that for two or $3,000. It's that special. But again, look where the car is idling as a, as a cold, start it really just purrs like a kitten i'm just going to let it sit here until that light goes off why we're looking at uh the inside here i'll show you this is the left blinker which is working here and then i'll flip it to the right blinker which is over here again the car has 81,161 original miles that's obviously before and after the restoration uh the lights Obviously, I can pull this. You're not going to be able to really see anything, but you will notice in our photo gallery that we have pictures of all of the lights, parking lights, headlights, etc., that are all in working order. Uh, as far as the windshield wipers are concerned, you can see the windshield wipers are in working order as well. When you turn the knob, they actually park like they're supposed to, so that's in working order. Um, the dome light, if I turn the knob, you'll see the dome light is in working order as well. I did make note. Uh, in our description and so forth that the radio is not working okay so I just want to be clear this is not working this is clearly original this car does have some originality to it some patina throughout and this is one of the things that if the new owner wants to send out and have restored or replaced he or she can do so and down here we have our heating system I don't know if you can actually hear that in the video but it's clearly blowing right now you got your cold temperature hot temperature and so forth so the heating system is in working order um, we still have our cold light on over here and you can see the engine is really starting to smooth out we've only been doing this video now for maybe a minute or two it's all it really takes to warm up this car uh, if I gas it a few times you can see where it's already very responsive check this out just giving it a little bit of gas on a cold engine, you're talking about a 409 with 400 horsepower, and look at how this thing is sitting here purring. I am absolutely not touching the gas pedal. The guys in service deserve a lot of credit for dialing in this motor. At MS Classic Cars, we really, really dial in our motors, uh, engines, whatever you want to refer to them as, uh, new spark plugs. We set the timing, we go through the carburetors, adjust everything accordingly so these cars start and run like they're supposed to we always add fresh fuel etc etc again the clutch in this vehicle too is super easy to operate if anybody is wondering 
how the clutch is. The clutch obviously was replaced new. It's super smooth. And the steering in this car actually is really easy. The larger the steering wheel, um, the easier it is to steer these cars. You can see that I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I got plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room. And again, the clutch is super easy. Now, check it out. The cold light went out. So now this vehicle is ready to drive. Didn't take very long and it really, really is pleasurable. Just gotta be careful in this area here for obvious reasons. We are gonna get on to Route 6. And of course, it's still a little cold even though the indicator states that it's cold. That's really just for start starting purposes and to let it warm up accordingly. But right now, when we start driving it, I'm not gonna jump on the gas immediately. I'm gonna let it warm up properly. Shift it first gear, second gear, third gear. And this road right here, this is actually Route 6 in Seekonk. This is a really rough road. I would comment that this road has got a crown in it. It's got a ton of potholes, a lot of cracks and divvies. But you can see just how nicely this thing is going down the road. The steering wheel is straight. There's no rattles, no squeaks. You can see the speedometer is working beautifully. You can see our fuel gauge is working. Again, very, very nice. It really feels good. Right now I'm in third gear. I'm gonna go ahead and shift it into fourth which again is awesome, and we can just really, really cruise. This 409 is very fine. Look at the tachometer. Just a smidge over 2,000. We're going about 55-ish. Look at how straight the steering wheel is. And again, these bias ply style tires normally are a little sloppy on the road, but this feels really, really good. Up here, we're gonna take a left. So I'm gonna switch lanes. You can see the directional working. I'm gonna downshift it to third. See how nice it downshifts. And again, Got this BMW here in front of us. Taking a turn, you can see how I use the transmission, the brakes a little bit to downshift. Again, we're gonna take this turn right here. I can't comment enough on how nicely this thing operates. As I had said in uh, one of my comments earlier, if you think about this for a moment, in 1970, the Chevrolet Chevelle SS LS6 was the 454 450 horsepower engine that was the kingpin of the day. This particular car, which was built five years earlier, has only 50 horsepower less than an LS6 Chevelle. And I gotta tell you something, driving it, it's so pleasurable because you don't feel like you're driving a muscle car. You feel like you're driving a two-door sedan that you can drive easily, nothing radical, but when you want to get into it, it's got all that power to pick you up and make you move. Again, it sounds really nice. No rattles, no squeaks, it steers really good. Turns really nice. Again, for a big car, it really, really performs well. If you look at the tachometer, right now I've got it in third gear. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop up here, slow down a little bit, and then I'm gonna let this vehicle in front of me get ahead of me a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll get on the gas pedal Right now we're going about 20 miles an hour, a little less than 2,000 RPM. 
on a slow way down here. Every time we do a driving video, typically we uh, always have something like a car in front of us or a police officer pulling somebody over. But anyway, I'm going to get on it just a little bit right now, let you listen to it perform. Check out that tachometer. Here she goes. I mean, this thing really boogies. Again, it's a real quiet kind of power. It just really, really gets up and moves. Shifts absolutely beautiful. Looks like we might have lost the connection in the, uh, up there goes, in the tachometer. Have to have the guys check that out. We might just have a loose uh, connection there. This is an area that we use to turn around during these driving videos. I don't think these people mind much when we come through here with these beautiful cars. But this is a pretty tight little turn here and you can see for a big car how nice the actual turning radius is. Really, really nice. Now, one thing I'm gonna do here, which I think is just impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. You'll notice that when I shut it off, it completely shuts off. A lot of cars will continue to run a few seconds after that are not properly dialed in. This car clearly is. Watch how beautiful this thing starts. Again, look at my foot. There's no, no fuel being given at this time or anything like that. Just turn the key and it's purring, look at this, it's purring. I could literally get out of this car, go have lunch and come back, and this thing would be running as nice as what you see here today. So again, very, very special. We'll give you one more little uh, driving experience through here. Nobody's in front of us. So here we go from first gear. Car to drive, tons of power. Again, I do have to be careful. This is a residential area. We don't want to get too crazy. Better be respectful. Obviously, we've got a well-known company in the area. We definitely don't want to start burning any bridges. That's for sure. It looks like the tachometer uh, sticks a little bit when it gets around that 5,000, 6,000 mark sure it's just a connection because when I tap this it comes right back so I'll have the guys in service uh, tighten that no big deal but again super pleasure to drive it runs beautiful temperature stays really cool we've never had an overheating issue or anything like that with this vehicle again I'm in third gear right now cruising on these beautiful back roads. Very nice car. All I do is touch the gas foot a little bit and she really picks up at boogies. Whoever ends up buying this car is going to be so lucky. Lucky to own one of an estimated 20 to ever been built. There's only a few of these cars known to still exist today. Such a rare, rare opportunity. Original VIN tag, original trim tag, original beautiful color combination, original motor, original transmission, original rear end, mostly all the original sheet metal, checks all the boxes for a 409 collector's dream. Well, it's been a pleasure. We're heading back to the dealership. Again, we appreciate you watching. Rock and roll.
We're actually driving back from the dealership, and uh, I was just meeting at Mike from UPS, and Corey had mentioned I didn't demonstrate the horn, so we're going to go ahead and show you the horn here. That it clearly is in working order. Again, I'm in fourth gear. Let's look at the tachometer. Doing about 60 miles an hour. Look at this thing. Yeehaw!